الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس There's also a hadith in which Muhammad says that he saw his Lord as a curly-haired, beardless young man wearing a green robe. So your God actually has body parts, sexual reproductive organs, and your Prophet saw him as a man. A man with a womb. A man with a womb. Uh, no, you're not quite there, young lad. Um, Al-Bayhaqi, as you have seen in the hadith, he says... If you continue going, as Suyuti interpreted either a dream, right? So this was actually in a dream, and other hadiths actually explain that this is a dream. So it does not literally mean that Allah is a man, um, or He comes in the shape of a man. Uh, this is similar to uh, other other uh, hadiths, and you know some people have said that this hadith has, is weak, and some people have argued that it's authentic. Now let's go with the point that is authentic. Does that change anything? Does that mean that Allah is actually a man? No, because if the Prophet saw him in a dream, in a, in a way of, of a, and the dream of the Prophet is correct, then how come uh, we don't say that Prophet Yusuf saw the the sun and the st and the moon and the stars prostrating to him? He interpreted it as his brothers. Does that mean that his brother is a moon? Does that mean that his uh, brothers are stars or his parents are stars? No, it does not mean that. And they will never be moons or stars because we already have a moon and stars. So this is to mean in another way that this is a dream, this is an interpretation. It does not mean that they are moons or stars. So let's explain it further. And first of all, how do we know, for example, that the hadith was mentioning that the Prophet saw Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a dream and not in reality uh, as, as a man, right? Um, this is and it's interpreted as symbolic. Well, we know this from another hadith, and as we can can see before before we go to the other hadith, I want to show you in Surah Yusuf in chapter twelve of the Quran, right? If we go right now to uh, Surah Yusuf, so we see uh, in in chapter um, twelve of the Quran, verse four, it says. Of these stories mentioned when Joseph said to his father, Oh my father, indeed I have seen. And they put in between a quotation in a dream, and it does not mention in the Arabic part of the Quran that it is in a dream. Yusuf just says, Inni ra'aytu ahada ashara kawkaba, wa shamsa wal qamara ra'aytuhum li sajideen. Joseph said that, Oh my father, I, I have seen 11 stars in the sun and the moon, I saw them posting to me. Now, it doesn't mention dream in the Arabic, but it's clear that this is a dream, right? Because there's no other way because to interpret that, right? So, Joseph, uh, Jacob said, Oh my son, do not relate your vision to your brothers or they will contrive against you a plan and teach Satan to a man as a manifest enemy. Now, was this dream, uh, you know, did it, did, it, did it come true? Yes, if we go to uh, Surah Yusuf chapter 12, the Quran verse 100. And he, meaning Joseph, raised his parents up on the throne, and they all fell before him in prostration. He said, Joseph said, My father, here is the fulfillment of my early dream. Right? It does not really say uh, dream, right? It says ru'yaya, mean my vision, right? So, it, to, to be honest, in the Arabic, it, it clearly means that this is, uh, this, is a, this is a dream, right? My Lord has made it come true. So, if you saw a vision, that means, of course, it's a dream, right? Because if Allah makes it true, all the Prophet's dreams are true, right? So, um, this is clear too, because the, the part of it was that the sun, as it says in the verse here, that the 11 stars and the sun and the moon prostrating to Joseph was actually his parents and his brothers, right? And they fell before in, in him in prostration. He said, my father, this is the fulfillment of my early dream. My Lord has made it come true. If we go to also the Bible in Genesis to prove this more, in Genesis chapter t uh, 37, verse 9 to 10, Then he, meaning Joseph, had another dream, and he told it to his brothers. Listen, he said, I had another dream, and this time the sun and the moon and eleven stars were bowing down to me. When he told his father as well as his brothers, his father rebuked him and said, What is this dream you had? Will your mother and I and your brothers actually come and bow down to the ground before you? So even in the Bible it's interpreted that this dream means that the sun and the moon and the eleven stars will bow down to him, meaning that the brothers of Jacob 
uh, sorry, the brothers of Joseph and his father and his mother will come down and uh, prostrate to uh, jo uh, Joseph. Uh, it does not mean that his brothers are suns or stars or moons, right? So it's not to be taken literal. Um, now let's go to another hadith that says, it clearly proves what I said. It's in the hadith of Marwan bin Uthman from Umar bin Amir an Umm Umm Tufail, Imra'at Abi uh, Ubayy ibn Ka'b, marfu'an, right? So this is the hadith marfu'ah and, and it says, وَهَذَا الْحَدِيثِ صَحَحَحُ الْحَسَنْ بِنْ بَشَّارِ Right? Uh, وَأَبُوْ يَعْلَى Right? Uh, so this hadith has been made sahih and weak by others, as, as it says. It says here that this hadith says, the Prophet says, I saw my Lord in a dream, في المنام, meaning in a dream, in a picture of a uh, young man uh, who's wearing green and he has uh, shoes of gold, right? So as you can see, let me translate it for those who don't believe me. Okay, let's go and translate it. Fil manam means <coughs> in a dream. So this is another hadith saying in a dream. While both hadiths that this guy was near, uh, relating was also false. And not to forget that this is the false prophet also exposing my idiot, the false prophet and not Christian, the idiot. And this is actually the video of uh, a guy who Sam Shamoon used. It says, uh, the video was actually of, you can find it on Sam Shamoon's channel that I'm using to expose this guy. It's, it's called Can Allah Marry, right? Uh, can Allah Marry Shaykh Uthman ibn Farooq, for example. So here you can see, رأيت ربي في المنام. I saw my Lord in a dream in a form of a young man in green, right? Now, what can I use as well to prove this? Well, there's a clear hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari in the most authentic source of hadith. In Sahih al-Bukhari, as you can see the reference here, narrated Salem's father, the Prophet said, I saw in a dream a black woman with unkempt hair going out of Medina and settling in Mahaya. I interpreted that as a symbol of epidemic of Medina being transferred to Mahaya, namely al juhta So the Prophet saw in a dream a black woman. He interpreted it as it's an epidemic moving to another place, right? It's, it's being, uh, it's an epidemic of Medina being transferred to another place, namely al juhta right? So it does not mean that the epidemic is a black woman. Okay, it does not mean the epidemic is a black woman, but this is an interpretation, right? Similarly with that, the man shown is not actually Allah. Right? It's, it, it doesn't mean that Allah is a man. Right? So, uh, yeah, and this hadith, there's people that have made it authentic. Th those who made it authentic have argued that this is all a dream. This is a dream. It's not reality. And those who have made it weak are others who saw weakness in his chain and saw weakness in the hadith. So, yeah, uh, this is it. And also, this is not the only thing to expose the false prophet, my idiot, more and Sam Shamoon and both Christian idiots. Um, let us go to, uh, I have actually a book of Ibn Sirin. Ibn Sirin was known as a Muslim scholar in the Golden Age who used to interpret it, interpret dreams according to the Quran and the Sunnah. So he used to interpret dreams according of people according to the Quran and the Sunnah. They used to come and ask him, what do you think the interpretation of it will be? He would use authentic hadiths and he would use the Quran. This is the app here called Tafsirul Ahlam, right? On my iPad, as you can see, you can download it. It's Tafsir al-Ahlam. They will get you this. Uh, you will go here, for example, to Tafsir ibn Sirin. This is Tafsir ibn Sirin. They'll give you a category. One of the category, the first bab, bab al-awwal fi ta'wil ru'ya al-abd nafsihi biyadi, uh, bayna yadi rabbihi azza wa jal fi manami. Right? You can see the first one it says. Let me show. The first one it says is, uh, let's go back down. So the first one says that the first one is, uh, the topic under a person interpreting a person, a, a person who sees uh, his self in between the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his dream, right? And if you press on it, they will give you, for example, the interpretations of the dream all the way down, right? So this is, for example, a person who sees Allah in a dream. It does not literally mean that this person that he sees in his dream is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, and does not mean that Allah comes in a form of a man or a form of, uh, you know, the creation. And this is what they failed to understand. They thought that they might fool people by that. And actually, um, this is a deception. This is the way that they use it. They, this is how the Zionists use it. When Dajjal comes out, he will try to fool people, of course, according to the deen of Islam. He will fool them through the hadiths and the Quran. Now, if people fail, like they listen to Rock Christian and Christian Prince and they believe them and they leave Islam, uh, this is, you know, the first weakness sign that. They're easily 
if the gel were to come out, they will be easily fooled by the gel. Then they were fooled by uh, rock cushion and cushion pins. So this is what the gel will use. He will use these Quran, Sunnah, and Hadith and interpretations of Muslims, and he will try to fool the person. He will try to make him think, look, Allah comes in a form, right? Uh, so uh, this is the Hadith here. It says Allah comes in a form. He will show you the Hadith, but he will not show you the other Hadith, which says that the Prophet saw him in a dream. And other people who don't have ilm al-hadith or ilm of the Qur'an, they would not recognize this. They will easily be fooled by it. If they don't know the story of Joseph, and if they don't know the story, the hadiths that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not one-eyed, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not come in the form of a man, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not have a son, um, and we will not be able to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only after we die. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't come in other forms, right? This is only a dream. This is only a dream that, you know, the dream sometimes can be this way, but does not mean that Allah is a man or that man. So they will try to fool you this way and it's easily to fall in their trap. So you better be careful. And this is why it's very important to study Islam uh, and search, do a lot of research before following these fools and these liars. Salaamu